Hey guys, welcome to the Kingdom. I'm Wanda. This is Deep South Homestead and this is Danny's greenhouse. This is his dream. He loved it. He wanted to see if he could grow in a greenhouse. And it's amazing. These plants are amazing. It's awesome. So I'm going to take you on a little tour around the greenhouse. We've been working it this morning. He's trying to get some lime out right now. So I'm going to be harvesting some stuff. I'm going to show you what we've got going on here in Danny's greenhouse. Now we're building a greenhouse for me and mine is going to be called the Queen Dome and we have it ready for the plastic. We have to build a couple of more raised beds and add a bunch of dirt. But in the meantime we have built a pond. Oh wait, we built two ponds. So let's get to going through all this. We've got some things that are you know nearing the end of their lives. We've got some things that are perking up and just kicking in and we've got some little bit of bug problems here and there. The white flies are um, not extreme but they're they're still a problem in areas like the peppers but guys we're harvesting lots of peppers. The peppers love this environment. Danny and I were out here a little earlier and we went ahead and tied up some of the peppers and things like that and we're going to be watering here in a few minutes but this one right here has peppers. Danny thought he planted uh, bell peppers and these are bells back here. We're going to pick a few bells off but this one isn't and this is either a roaster or a uh, Marconi. One of the two. So we have these to go in our basket and guys these peppers are just doing amazing. Here's a bell. These are like trees. And Danny grew them in a pot in a container last year outside and they did the same thing. Um, here's a huge one here. Look at this. I mean, look at the size. It's gorgeous. And we brought our bucket so we have something to pick in. We've invested in a lot of these little buckets. And that looks like most of the bales, but we have a few of these sweet peppers still that have to come off. And these are taller than I am, but they're also in a raised bed, so take about, they're about as tall as I am. Alright, so these are the red roasters. And they got started a little late. They're supposed to get a little bigger than that, but there's so many on them, so we're going to have to take some off and give them some nutrition today to get them up to the size we want them. But these size will roast too. doesn't matter. I see some on the other side. And the problem is getting to them. getting everything to them. Like I said, it's like being in a tree. And we want these kind of red. See? And turning. Makes them sweeter when they get red. Alright, so I'm taking more off. When we get through, we're going to have a bucket full because we haven't even gotten to the other peppers yet. But the Marconis are doing great. The Red Roasters are doing good. We're having a lot of good luck with these. And we're just going to come back in and fertilize. The deal here is starting to seed up. And it's got a few seeds on some of these here. We're going to come back and talk about the deal later by itself. And this is the mint. This is a spearmint. Great for teas and stuff. But we put it in here for insect control. And I don't know how much insects it's controlling. But it's fixing to go to seed. A lot of people ask, did the spearmint go to seed? Um, yes. And this is the little pods. They'll turn brown. We'll come back when they're brown and harvest some of these. Alright, the Freedom Blackberries are doing great. We've got some here and I have some up high. 
and there's actually on the end of that one there's actually one that's almost right so we're liking the freedom blackberries in here they seem to be doing okay uh, by next year we should know how to grow these really well and produce enough blackberries to have some fresh several days of the week all right the basil here i do not want my basil going to seed so what i'm doing clip the top out that will make it branch out and we'll have basil everywhere so this can be used I just don't want it in the greenhouse I want it to bush out and so that will cause that we've been messing with the parsley taking the bad leaves off the parsley and stuff like that and it's uh, growing again I have two carrots here one right here and one right there and they're I just dug they're probably pretty long but they're only about the size of my thumb right now so we're not gonna dig carrots yet um, the okra is taken off but I don't see any okra on it ready today Danny's done kind of picked through that I believe but look at this look at these trees and look how loaded. Isn't that awesome? They may not be very big, but they're so loaded in here that we need to take some off. And I will chop these up and use these in recipes. Um, but they need some relief. There's just too many. This is one thing that Danny and I did this morning was tie some of these up. Um, trying to take the biggest out. And we're going to come back and fertilize everything in a few minutes and water. Oh, sh really good harvest. Oh, look, do I get rid of this dude or not? Come look at this dude. It's a big long either a katie did or i don't know what he is i need to know if he's beneficial or not all right look what i just found under here mr daniel's gonna come see if this is a good thing or a bad thing oh yeah he's what's eating the this is what's called a white wing all right show this him. is a this is what's been eating the leaves off of our peppers our uh satsumas and stuff this is when you see the uh locust infestations uh-huh this is what it is really yeah so if i find those they gotta come out they gotta come out he's not a beneficial insect no he is destroying our crops all right so if you see these dudes take them out because they don't belong yeah i've got i'm trying not to drop these spanish needles that i have here um that gives you an let's see yeah, these are what destroys crops. They eat leaves off of your uh, things like your citrus trees, your peppers, anything like that. They come in and literally just mow. You see these leaves you were pulling off a while ago and asked me what was eating them? Okra leaves? Yeah. Stuff like so that? He's been having a field day. Yeah, he's been living in here eating our leaves. He came in uh, through an open door probably. So uh, if I see more, they got to go. He's too big for the bug zapper to get in, so... Uh, so, so he's we, been feeding, and they feed at night. All right, so I'm going to be looking for more creatures. Yeah, I'm glad you found him. I knew he, I knew there was one in here. I just didn't know where he was because I kept seeing the leaves eat. Like our little calamondins and our little lemon tree, the minute the dwarf ones, uh -huh. the leaves keep getting eat off. It's, it's, it's him that does it. All right, so we're looking for creatures now. Yeah. Well, it's chicken food now. Chickens will enjoy. All right. Let's get back to, let's see if we can get some more peppers off of here. All right, so we had a little lesson in greenhouse bug control. Non-beneficial insects. I mean, there's just, 
banana peppers everywhere on this. And I thought I would just show you up close. And look here. Now I got a lot of these, but look at this. I haven't touched these peppers yet. And look at the peppers. And they're blooming little peppers everywhere. So we're going to grab these right quick. See what Danny was talking about? He was eating our leaves. We get new leaves on and the old ones were disappearing. So I've got to keep an eye out for creatures. The peach trees, all of them are doing great. All our orange trees hanging in there. The blueberry, look. It's getting there. They're just hanging in. They're going to be a little different from what I'm used to, but it's blooming on this side. So that's all right. This okra is looking good. And like I said, he's pulled all the okra yesterday, I believe. This parsley, I took it back to some of the bottom and some, some of the top here. I took a lot of the bottom out. This kind of stuff I just take out once it starts getting bad. This, um, like, this kind of stuff here in the asparagus I take out. You see the dead stuff. But I have, look, it's not very big. But I saw one. Let's see, where did I see one? <laughs> right here. Now, I like asparagus. I like having fresh asparagus. And I see one in the back. And I let this one go. I missed it. But, fresh asparagus out of the greenhouse and I leave all these ferns until they get brown and then I take them off that helps feed the plant and give it what it needs all right I've picked a lot of the banana peppers off I've got the other peppers in the bottom we're going to go around to the other side and pick those peppers and check on the second side of the kingdom our mini banana plant is just taking off. Look at it. It is growing so well. And this corner that we've just let go with the Malabar spinach and the uh, petunias is just going crazy. Our little sunflowers are doing okay. They've at least put on some sunflower heads. The Malabar is just running this one. Let's see. Malabar is a vine. It's a spinach, but it's a vine. And it is just running up the sunflower. And it's reaching the tops. Now these two have already broken, fell over. So that means they're going to be drying out and making the seeds now. We'll be taking those out in the next week or two when they get to the point we need to take them out. I think this one got up to uh, eight or nine foot, something like that, before it was done. But see, the orange trees are looking awesome. But look at these peppers. This is the next project. We're going to start working on the yellow Marconis. And look at this. Super fantastic. I picked a couple that were on here that had done turned yellow. Danny let two go, and I picked them this week, and they are so sweet. Beautiful taste to these yellow Marconis. 
these are the mundo beans in the front then some flowers in the back that are doing okay I guess but again you see where our little creature has been eating the leaves off everything so we may have more than one creature or either that this one's been very busy I took and planted one tomato I didn't get this one planted but it might come on back out one of our uh, I think it's marigold but look this is what happens when these get too heavy so I've got to take these two bells off this one broke off of here and we still have bells everywhere so we're going to check these in a few minutes and I see over here look at this Look at the bells all in there. New ones coming on here. So we will have bell peppers for a while. I planted this one patio tomato and it looks pitiful. But we're going to give it a chance. If it doesn't do anything, we'll take it out. This one has blooms. This is the purple merlot, I believe. It has blooms in it. It's just a late bloomer. But it'll get there. I stuck some multiplying onions, the old fashioned multiplying onions, in here. And that's only been three or four days. They're already green, doing great. So we're going to add more of those in here for the winter. And we've had to baby the okra plants in here. These are the bush okra. The uh, white flies and aphids was wanting to get them, so we had to wash and clean them. But they're starting to take off, getting a little size to them, and we'll see how they do. This is the back side of this pepper plant that I was on on the other side picking. And look, I've got to get a few off of here in a few minutes. And look at this one in the door. We've got to get peppers off of it. And the peach tree's going like crazy. The lemon tree is still doing okay. It's hanging in there. Got a few lemons on it all over the place. Got a little mini sunflowers. Now, these never got planted, but look. They're still in the seed tray. They didn't make a sunflower, but they made a flower. Okra. Still in the seed tray here. Here. I mean... At least they will produce. Danny puts water in there. And look at the roots. You see the root system under there? It's like aquaponics. So he just keeps watering them and lets them grow. And look at this. This is one of our prides. We are going to have a pineapple in this greenhouse. Isn't that awesome? The other one doesn't show any sign yet. But this one is putting on a little pineapple. And look at the bananas. I gotta get over here and get all these banana peppers. They gotta come off too. So you see the back side of everything. There's just as many on it as there were on the front side. So we gotta get busy. I think I'm going to leave some like in the back that will grow and turn yellow because we do like them yellow too. But I'm taking some relief off of some of the plants. So there's two in the back I'm going to leave and let them go to the yellow stage. We've got to tie these up before they fall in the aisle. I think that's it.
Look at this. I'm looking great. Not ready. That one is ready. Alright guys, I'm sitting on the Miracle Grow potting soil that we're going to add to some of our pond dirt into the Queen Dome. And peppers, I'm talking. This is full of peppers. All kinds of peppers. You name it, I got peppers. So we're going to be chopping up peppers after a while. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the tour of the King Dome. Um, the shirts, radish. I had somebody ask about the shirts. These shirts are from Hall's Tools. There's a link in the description below. Check out Hall's Tools. Some of the shirts Danny's been wearing are from Hall's Tools. Um, the row by row shirt and things like that. The Oakry. And they've got several different varieties, several different colors. So check out their radish shirt. So everything is rad-ish in here. We talk about Hoss tools all the time but I don't know that we really mention too much about their products. Hoss tools has a YouTube channel and they sell seeds. Lots of the seeds that are in here were from Hoss tools this year. A lot of the things that we planted in the fields was from Hoss tools and they performed amazing. So guys check them out. Link in the description below for their seeds and the how arch wheel hose and all this, the cedar, all those things that we use come from Hall's Tools. And they just got some cute shirts. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.